We skip it. Invader Zim is also one of my one of my favorite animated series. And Gur is one of my favorite characters. One of my favorite episodes is Walk for Your Life. Where they have to walk away from the expanding death ball. Like they don't have to run away from it, it's not advancing that quickly. They just have to walk away from it. So it's like, okay guys, you know, it's it's not gonna reach us that quickly. We can kinda chill out and um kinda just saunter away from destruction. Oh man, look at this guy too. This guy, the sergeant. He's he's kind of like our guy. Um, uh, he's kind of like Karsten. Except, yeah, he's got the same weapon as Karsten, except he's got like a sweet sash. So the interesting thing is if there's any like. It feels like we are coming up from behind, and all of the Zombros are up, like, up top. And we're, like, coming in, and we're like, Sir, what do you need? And he's like, Just get up there! We're trying to liberate the city! They did a TV movie? What? No, I was not aware of anything else. Yeah, it's, it sounds like they're all up here. I think this is like one of the very special scripted battles or something. And I'm I'm wondering if there's going to be like a whole bunch of Zombros that show up or something. Because if it's just us like trying to get into the darkness. It's like I could I could tell you a story of a battle, but I won't. Because we need to sell DLC. Actually, we just need people who aren't slow as hell. And I think we might be easy moding this this battle, which is supposed to be extremely difficult. Because we've been helping out the, the southern sun bros so much that they have an actual army of actual people that do not actually suck. So we're doing well. I wonder if we're going to run into Sir Torleaf as well. Because we got Sir Conrad. Oh man. That would be sweet if like we we're able to level up Conrad into Sir Conrad. I think we might have better armor than Sir Conrad. Like maybe his helmet is older. But I think we've got better armor than Sir Conrad. Sir Conrad looks like he's got like heavy, heavy chainmail. It might be the same as like um, Sakara the Hammer, in which case, yeah, we do have better armor. I don't know, they don't sell the awesome chainmail at the shop. I kind of would like that. And what is this damn donkey doing over here? Like, we're not rescuing the freaking caravans, we're rescuing the freaking city. And these donkeys are just standing out here watching the undead take over. You think they'd do something like leave like hey it looks like that city's being overrun by hundreds of dead people um should we stay and watch question mark it just seems like something you wouldn't do it seems like something you, you take a look at it and you'd be like oh I saw this shit before never let's Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go to Mitterfels or, you know, wherever. It's just not worth it. These guys are just... We got the crossbow core coming in. We got the standard bearer out there. He's got the awesome sun logo going on. He's trying to sell, like, the, the ass jeeves toolbar to people he's like come on guys can you just use internet explorer the zombies aren't having any of that shit like no what are they gonna learn we 
We're gonna make it to these front lines. We're gonna make it. And we're gonna we're at least gonna kill one person in this fight. I'm gonna kill at least one. Are zombies real people? Like, if you kill a zombie, like, is it technically murder or or what? I mean, they're already dead, and we can now finally see some of this action. So we are going to approach from the, uh, the starboard side of this zombie horde, and it looks like these zombies just, they, they look like trash to me. Look at this guy, that, he's got a cool beard, but like that hair is just not, not, not good enough. This guy has good enough hair, hair though, like that whole like shaving off the sides and looking like a neo-nazi, that's kind of what you want to do if you're a zombie. You don't want to go for like early balding as a zombie. That's that's just not a good look. Yeah, the donkeys are here. We got two donkeys and two carts, and a caravan hand. Where the fuck did they come from? Like, that means there was a caravan here. Like they they're not here for no reason, right? Like they they actually just showed up at the wrong place at the wrong time, and we're like, oh balls. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a requirement in this group, is have awesome hair. The, the problem with that is we don't actually get to see our guys very much before we hire them. We just kind of... Our hiring process is basically we just ask them how much money they cost, and they give us a number, and then we decide how good they are based on that number. So if they said, like, I'm worth a million dollars, we'd be like, well, he must be good then, right? Or the invention of cannons. Yeah, wasn't that a thing? Like, they go out and um, it'd be like a little picnic that you'd, you'd, like, lay out all your stuff. And you'd watch the battle. And you'd be like, oh, yes, the French are doing quite well today. Can you pass the sandwiches? Oh, we only have ham and cheese left? And then you'd, like, flip, you know, the picnic table and then you'd leave. And then you'd, then you'd probably invade, like, you know, southern Austria because you're pissed off. Because you're out of ham and you're out of turkey sandwiches. That's kind of how things went back in, you know, the day. And these guys, these footmen, all these guys are just doing work. Like, these undead have got no, nothing on these guys. Like, this guy up here, look at him, he's completely surrounded by Zombros. And he's just, he's like, fuck this shit. I got a chin strap beard. You bastards have got nothing on me. True story. <laughs> yeah, before reality TV, we had to do something. I don't, yeah, Sir Conrad's bringing up this side too. So we're going to try to sweep from the starboard side. And I always remember which side's starboard, because port is left. That's 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 how I remember which side is starboard. Okay, we can actually take shots at things. An 81% chance. Let's take it. Good job. We, we hurt somebody. We did a thing. That was the first, the first move. That we did in this entire battle here, where we helped. I'm helping. I'm doing a good job. Though it would be even funnier. This this battle is not a boat. But but is not the Earth just a gigantic boat in a sea of stars? Come on. So if that's true then how is this battle not a boat, or on a boat, in some respect? It's just not making sense. <laughs> These are the things you learn at bandit school. They teach you. They teach you about boats.
There's only 17 zombies left. This is not not too bad right now. Oh no. Mr. Footman, he's out there doing a repost and actually doing some pretty good damage against these zombies. Maybe I should be watching these things a little bit closer instead of just talking about random bullshit. Oh no, Fluffy's dead. Well, at least dogs can't come back from the dead, right? Only only humans can come back from the dead. Which kind of begs the question, like, why why are there only, like, zombie humans, right? Wouldn't there be zombie rats and crows and, like, zombie cats? Like, zombie cats would be fucking terrifying. Because they, they if they're going to scratch you, you're not going to get anywhere. And cats are mischievous little bastards, too. They get you. There's no running away from that. So what would be the worst animal to face off as if it was a zombie? Like, we're, we'll constrain this to actual animals in reality. Because obviously, if there was like a zombie chimera or hydra or something, that would be awful. But real world animal that was a zombie, what would it be if it was the worst, the worst thing you could possibly face? Squirrels? Mosquitoes? Yeah! Yeah, Karakan's going for, for straight up like. Apocalypse, you are completely screwed. Mosquitoes flying around. Because if it's a blood transmitted virus or something, a mosquito is just going to spread that crap immediately. Like, and you're not going to see him. You're just going to be a zombie one minute because all of a sudden you're like, oh shit, I'm dead. Which is why I was talking about, like, animal, right? Last I heard, mosquitoes were insects. Arthropods are anim are not animals. Otherwise, you'd you'd be talking about zombie lobsters or zombie cockroaches. Ooh, gross little bastards. I think it'd be yeah. If we're talking like insect zombies, I think like bed bug zombies would be the worst because you could never kill the bastards. Like they're already dead, but then like you could not, you can't kill them right now when they're alive. So how are you gonna kill them when they're undead? You're just not going to. So we finally made it to the front lines of the battle. This thing, yeah, we'll just get a big net. We'll just be under big bug nets. Might be talked about a million. All right, fine. You're getting all sciency on me. I see how it is. You know, when I come up with my own hypothetical situations, I'm, I make up the rules. And you're right. I'm wrong. Squirrels bite to the bone. Ouch. Man, I don't know where you're from, but squirrels around here are like cute and cuddly, and you know, you walk around and it's like you're a Disney princess. They just come over and they're like, oh, just give me give me food. I don't know where you are where like the wildlife just like fucking attacks you for no reason. Maybe you should take it easy on, on that wildlife. See, that was one of the things I really liked about Dragon Age, like Origins, where they had um, the Mabari Warhounds that went in there and they were like attacking the Darkspawn, and they're like, oh yeah, the, the Warhounds, like, they, they bite they bite the Darkspawn and then they get totally screwed up. And I'm like, that makes a lot of sense.
I mean, if you're going to eat a mouse, you might as well eat it like it's an ice cream cone. I mean, you're... You're there. And nature don't give a shit. That, that was my whole point, like, a couple streams ago. I was talking about, like, well, why are we... Why are we making so much of a big deal about these uh, Noxazers who eat people? Like, anybody would eat a person if you're hungry enough. Like, the Oregon Trail proved that. <laughs> let's go. Let's go right there. Let's go to cannibalism right on stream. Nice job, Torleaf. You're a god among lesser gods and Conrad you are the lesser Conrad but you're gonna get in there and you're gonna do work man this is the dream team right here Torleaf and Conrad they're gonna they're gonna mess up all the shit oh man two for two Bernard you you sick you sick person you Imagine dogs, zombie dogs running you down. Uh, I don't have to imagine that. That basically happens in Resident Evil games. And it is it is absolutely terrifying. But what about zombie tigers? We'll get you guys. We'll get you. I should have shielded up, shouldn't I? That's okay, we got Sir Conrad on our side, backing up Conrad with Torley. We'll be fine. And it doesn't matter, they're attacking footman number four. Oh, you just got shot in the gut. Yeah, dude, what what time is it for you? It's it's almost one in the morning. And you usually go to sleep at like midnight. So you're up. You're up way past your bedtime, sir. These guys don't know when to quit. That's okay. We know how to put them down. Can you give us any non-spoilers for the story, Adam? Or... Is it completely secret? <laughs> or does the story involve the website is down and I need to fix the database again? <laughs> nice. Non spoilers. Oh, I don't know that, uh. Just finished a battle that took 35 turns. Nice job, Dathonel. How'd you do? Did you just kick their butts? Because I hope so. Hope, hope you guys made it out. Yeah, yeah, spoilers. Fatsack exists. He is a thing. It's just too much effort. It's like, ah, 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 ah. Okay, you can live. There's just so many spoilers. What are you going to do? All right, let's finish these guys off. Mr. Viderganger, I'm sorry, but my 60% chance to hit says you die. Eventually. Maybe not now. There's a chance. Man, look at this. The caravan hand is gravely wounded. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have gone up there. Eight fallen heroes and 15 armor dudes. Well, did you at least rescue Artax when you were out in that swamp? Because he's still out there with that giant turtle or whatever the hell. And if you didn't rescue him, 
You know, you better spend another 35 turns trying to do so. There are two zombies left. That is one. Where is the other zombie? He's over here? Let's take him out. Yeah, we got him. We actually done a lot more than what I thought this 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 battle. This battle. Oh, there we go. Fallen hero over here. He they just took out his awesome helmet. And we could have used that awesome helmet. Don't these zombies know anything about monetization in free to play games? He certainly didn't learn that in zombie school. And this guy showed up. He's got like really good lamellar armor and all that stuff. But he's he's wearing a freaking feathered cap. He's just asking for somebody to flail him in the face. Okay, so literally the only non-spoiler Adam can share with us is that there are... The story is so good that to tell you anything might unravel the complicated knot of plot. And you're just going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait. So look forward to it. Is there a stream tomorrow? I hope so. I'll probably be streaming something tomorrow. Depends when I wake up. But, I don't know. Adam, Adam is the person I believe you're asking. Because it's easy to stream, like, physics code and all that sort of stuff, but you can't really, like, stream the story. There's just this one fallen hero who has one hit point left, and he's surrounded by everything. Alright, excellent. So we, we won. And we won with... <laughs> we got nothing from it. Alright, we have done work. Beyond the cluttered gates of Bisonfells, you find a town that might as well have already succumbed to the undead hordes. Villagers shuffle amidst aimless and despondent villagers. A few guardsmen stand beside a wagon going from home to home, giving out rations. You see a few defenders, asleep along the fortification walls, arms half strung along the crenellations, gripping their weapons like puppies thrown into a corner. It says puppets, but, you know, it sounds better if it's puppies. Lieutenant of the Defense comes over. Thanks for coming. Many of us didn't think you would be here on account of this being hell itself. Well, we're used to this shit. So we're supposed to defend against even more shit. Um, great. <laughs> so this is part one of, uh of a multi-part saga of getting your ass kicked. Um, gr amazing. So, can we hire anybody? Is there anybody here? Yeah, Herman the Runner. Um, no. Let's see if we can level up, though. Nope, nothing. Great. Cool. Uh, so... We're just gonna sit here. And... Gates open and refugees coming in. You'd best get ready. 14 in the Undead Horde. Alright. Well, this is interesting. We have militia guys to back us up, and we're against a whole bunch of undead dudes. This is. This is interesting. We have, like, this gap. Like, I, I, I would have expected that, you know, we'd be defending a freaking wall. See you later, Adam. Take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your night, however short it is. 
and we will see you when you are awake. I'll look forward to it. They can't attack down from some of these places. So much, so much love in Chad. Against all the darkness and despair we are facing. Like all these guys have these like little red armbands around them. They all gave blood before they decided to come out here and try their luck. Arrows aren't going to do anything. Oh my god, look at this guy. He's going out there. Militia veteran. He's like, nah, man. I'll take all these guys on myself. Uh, you do you, man. I am not moving an inch. These guys are actually going to go murder themselves. What are you doing? Don't throw your lives away. Don't do it, guys. You got so much to live for. There's at least 30 other people that can die before you die. At least 30. Well, 29 for you. What are you doing? Your armor is falling apart. You're falling apart. Your hair is graying and balding. Your beard is falling off your face. Your hat sucks. Your hat really is like a rag around your head. You guys need to get together. I don't think they can attack down at us from there. I'm going to keep thinking that. Crap. Well, I wish I could see a little bit better, but basically I think we have to get right here. And then, oh, they can actually attack us from up there. And we can attack two from right here. Well, we'll try it. 61% chance to hit. We're going to go for the hit because that does a lot more damage. I don't want to do it, but we're going to do it. We're going to move up and we're going to shield wall. And we don't have a good, we do not really have a good option for you, Thorbin. Yeah, there's no way to get around there. So, we're going to move. Sakara is going to move. Is he going to move up? If he moves up, no, he's not going to move up. Okay, he's just going to so stick to his guns. 32 and 40. We're going to go with just 32% chance to hit. So we're seller, moving in. We're going to take our good hits. 53, 68, 68. So the 68. Just gonna try to do damage. That's all we can help hope for. Uh, 
I know. It's crazy. God, this... It's hard to see what the hell is going on here. Thirteen guys? Is that like a real thing, or are you making that up? Well, you might be able to catch the, the video later, Scorp, at least. Ninety-five, ninety-five. We'll go with the ninety-five. We can move up. And we can crush. Eighty-nine, seventy-one, eighty-nine. Wow. Seventy-one percent chance. Do it, man. Good attack. And we're gonna move up. We're gonna get another attack in. Oh no, they killed the militia veteran. You bastards. Let's see, what can we do here? 55% chance to hit. Uh, they're probably not gonna attack me, so I really just wanna deal some damage to these guys. We destroyed his shield. Well, excellent. I'm not happy about this surround they got going on with Torleaf, but if anybody could handle it, Torleaf can handle it. Torleaf is... Come on, Torleaf. That's not Torleaf! Oh shit, that's Conrad. Okay, Conrad probably cannot handle that. We need to... We need to save Conrad. Hashtag save Conrad. Fifty-five, forty-two. Go for the greater percent chance to hit. Sixty-nine, eighty-seven, ninety-five. Greater percent chance to hit. Every time. We need to win. Come on, guys. You know you want to win. We're tired of losing. We can get all the way up there. Is that an advantage? An advantage, yes. We will move in. Dorbin, you can take some hits. You're gonna have to. And you have plenty of armor, so you're moving in. Do it, man. Do it. Good shot, Aerovald. What's our what's it looking like? That's not what we wanted? Don't die, Conrad. Alright, Conrad. Three people, one swing. Your attack chances are awful, though. So what can we do? We can attack this guy twice, maybe take him out. He acts in one turn. We were not supposed to get that hit, but we got it. And that's amazing. Nicely done, Conrad. You might have saved your own butt. Just don't die now. Don't die now. Oh, man, Conrad. We might lose Conrad here. The only thing I really care about is Conrad's hat. If 
if he dies, we need his hat back. I understand that may sound a little crass, but this game makes you that way. Alright, Torsten, you're moving in. You're gonna be a bit. Ah, uh, he tried to push him out, but he couldn't. Box him out. We're basically trying to throw some guys in the way here, so. Conrad is dead. Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. Jesus Christ! He knocked his hat clean off his head. Well, oh, shit. All right, guys. Can't move. Sixty one. At least take his shield out. Eighty nine. Seventy one. I don't think they got an attack over on our on our boy there. Yeah, they do from him. Crap. And he's going soon. Damn it. Don't kill that man. Hey issue, what's up? We are just trying to murder some zombies. We are being halfway successful. Not fully successful, though. Just get your crossbow out, man. It's hard to see exactly what's going on with this fight. Basically, we are very close to murdering people we need to murder. The problem is... Well, it looks like the problem is solving itself. Yeah, well, uh, Adam streams, what, every weekend? And, because he's got the full-time job with Bob's Burgers, which is, you know, that's a, that's a very important, very important thing he does. So he doesn't have a whole heck of a lot of time to actually do real streaming and all that. So when he's doing it on the weekend... You know, that's that's because that's when he actually has time to do it. And when he's working on stuff like the story and the rest there, you know, he Adam Adam tries to be full time, you know, like two two jobs full time and it's just like that's a lot of work. So 
when he is online, he's he's making a real effort to do that. That miss. Oh, that's a militia guy. Who cares about him? Alright, we made it out of there. Conrad died. Did we get his hat? We got his hat back. Alright, that's all I care about. So many militiamen were killed in the battle that no citizen of Bisonfels wishes to take their place. Oh, they're still... Well, we're going to save it regardless. And we're going to see, did we level up at all? Oh, we still have a cultist guy in the back. Okay, excellent. So we have one... We're going to give him... We're going to give him definitely that. And we have no armor for him. So we're going to give him the ancient mail. So he's going to look like a complete badass. We don't have very good... We don't have any shield for him, though. And that is a bit of a problem. So instead of giving him that, we're going to give him a spear and throw him in the middle and see how he does. Torsten, you will... You'll defend... You'll defend. And Torleaf. Torleaf. Oh, man. Torleaf is doing real well. Torleaf. Level 11. Um, you're going to get three more attack. You're going to get some more defense and more carry capacity. And what can we give you? He's doing a really good job hitting people. He's doing a really, job, really good job killing people. Why don't we make him even better at killing people? Let's make him gifted. Then we have one more perk. I believe something like Headhunter might be a good a good choice for him. Underdog might be a good idea as well. Lone Wolf might also be really good. Uh, we're going to give him Lone Wolf, actually. We might be able to, and we'll put him on the edge. And the idea here is basically, we're going to we're gonna throw Torleaf to the wolves, and he's going to run out there and just, just destroy people. Just do work. Do work for us. Because he's got the undead trophy, he's not going to be afraid. He's going to run out there and just, just, just destroy everything. So let's see exactly what this is. All right, I'm going to reload this until we get, like, a decent map. I don't want to fight on some ridiculous train like this. Or literally all of these maps are so screwed up that just like it doesn't matter? What the hell? I'm gonna see. Uh. 
Is this her idea of like giving us an advantage or something? Like I'm gonna try a few more times to actually get like a like a map that's semi okay to fight on. Like this is a little a little weird. All right, this is looking a lot better. Like we can actually have a strategy, we can actually fight flat terrain. So we're not like freaking out about like, where the hell is everything? I don't know. Do you know? No, I don't know. Okay. So I said there were honor guards, and that is an honor guard right there. So what does that mean? It looks like they've got a really good helmet. Resistance against ranged weapons. So they still have all the same resistances, but they've got better armor is what it looks like. Well, it also looks like these are spears or some sort of um, two-handed weapons, minimum. There's quite a few of them. Well then. Run away. Should we go for it? I don't think so. Run away! Your buttons are too big! What? No! Oh no! The militia veteran! He's broken ranks! He's, he's gone mad! Don't do it! Don't throw your life away again! Oh Jesus, both of them! Well... I want to see what happens, but I kind of also don't want to see what happens because these guys are going to get murdered. Like, why? Why? Why are you doing that? The first thing they do is they take your hat. That's how you know. That's how you know they're all a bunch of Nazis. They're buying us time. That is a vicious looking sword. What a day to be dead. Oh yeah, they are they are toast. Oh, they're even just walking on their bodies. Alright, we can start doing some work. So these guys have a lot of bad juju going on. 95% chance to hit and we miss. I don't like that. 42% chance. Alright, we'll just rip your shield off your face. Thorbin. I don't like this at all, but we're going to go for it.
gonna go forward and we're gonna crush you. We got we got one. Excellent. <laughs> well, at least we got a stun off. Sixty three percent chance, and we miss. Come on, guys. Come on. If we move up, we'll be able to attack. But we need to be efficient with this. Dang. Ninety five? One more. We just got an achievement for that walking statue. That was kill an ancient honor guard. Nicely done, guys. I like how it's it's 8:30 in the morning and Steve is already playing Path of Exile. That guy. That guy's a trooper. Alright, if we move forward and then we do an attack, what are our chances to actually kill something? 74% chance? We miss. No! Come on, guys! You can't miss that! The three-quarter chance to hit! This is this is like XCOM. Your guy runs up there, he got his shotgun, he's ready to go, and then he misses. And you're just looking at him and you're like, Jesus Christ, did that really just happen? You just doomed the entire fate of the planet Earth to the aliens because, like, you, your hand spazzed out. Oh, Torsten, one hit, and you're already ready to run. What can we do about this? Well, we can kill one guy at least. We're doing our best. We need more deeps. We need more deeps, I think. We move up. 70% chance to hit misses every time. Excellent. We got that. That's what we need. So, do we go for the attack? We go for the shield break because we need the shield break on these guys damn ancient honor guard has got to go got to go okay so 44% chance to hit we do just want to break the shield, though. This guy, if he moves forward, he's going to get a good hit. Uh, two, a two swing. 95 and a 95. So we get two hits. That's excellent. What about you? 71 and an 82. We're going to go for a higher percent chance to hit, which is you. How are you still alive? Well, damn it. I almost got him. Okay, Torsten, run. Get out of there. We're trying. We're trying, and we're, we're getting there very slowly. So come on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Don't stop believing. We need to do this. We need to defend this town. This is our house. And these fucking zombies 
and their ancient brethren need to get the hell right out of all of us. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. You are going. We will not be able to move up. Crap. And they're back again. All right, we're doing some work. This guy needs to an 80% chance miss. Good job, Zakara. Good job. We needed you to not do that. But Hank is here. And Hank's got an 86% chance to hit. And he's not a little bitch like you. Torsten, just shield up. Let me take out this other ancient honor guard. It is not a matter of honor. It's a matter of life or death. Oh, and he's going again. We're having a bad time here. We're having a very bad time. Thorvin is dead. Well, this went south very, very quickly, didn't it? No. Well, I want to just... We're just going to power this out. I don't care who dies. And we're going to see what the end game of this is. Torsten, just get in there. We need a win. Doesn't matter. Just move in there. Do damage. Ramalda's dead. Yeah, get in there. Do all the hits. We're pretty much screwed. Especially if we miss that. Especially if we miss that. Misses are atrocious. Yep. Yep. Done. They're all.